In our video on data labeling, we saw how you can use the built-in algorithms like the point tracker and temporal interpolators to label videos in the video labeler app. Now, let us see how you can integrate a custom automation algorithm. Now, imagine you are tasked with labeling a large data set. While the built-in algorithms can still be used, uh, these algorithms are generic in nature and are not explicitly looking for features for your object of interest. One way to overcome this is to label a few images using the built-in algorithms discussed in the previous video, and then use that ground truth to train an object detection algorithm and use this trained object detection algorithm to label the rest of your data set. So let's see how we can do this. We will use an aggregate channel features or an ACF detector that has been trained on some label ground truth as the meat of our custom algorithm. To learn more about how we train this algorithm, check out the training and validating object detectors video link in the description. So let's use this custom algorithm to label all the big green buoys in this video. So let's go ahead and create the label like we did earlier. In the algorithm section up here, let's choose the create new algorithm option. This will open a template for a class that inherits from the vision.labeler.automation algorithm class. We can use this template to define the algorithm that will be used. If we scroll through this template, we'll see that the class contains a few required properties that correspond to the name, user directions, and other such information for the algorithm, as well as properties that could be related to the algorithm's execution. These properties may or may not be tunable. Next come the methods for the class. The check label definitions method is used to check which labels are valid for the custom algorithms. You remember in the earlier video, we spoke about how only rectangle labels can be used for the built-in algorithms. This is where that gets checked. You can use the check setup method to check for any inputs that the user needs to provide in order to execute this algorithm successfully. Next is the settings dialog, which can be used to control the settings icon. Tunable properties can be placed here so the user can tune them interactively during execution. When the run button is hit in the app, it invokes the following methods to execute the algorithm. It'll first invoke check setup to check if it's ready for execution, and that returns a Boolean flag. If true, then the initialize, run, and terminate methods are called in that order to execute the algorithm. Now, let's take a look at the custom algorithm for the big green boot. And as we scroll through it, we see that there are some properties defined for the score threshold, label name, and the detector. We see that the check label definition ensures that only rectangular labels can be used. The method check setup checks that a label is selected before automation begins. Settings dialog can be used to adjust the threshold value. In the initialize method, we see that the big green buoy ACF detector is loaded in through a mat file. And then if we scroll down to the run method, we see that the detect method of this detector is being called. And this will help annotate the image if the detection's confidence score is above the score threshold. Now, once we have created our class, the next step in order to use this custom algorithm is to create a plus vision slash plus labeler automation package folder inside any folder that is on the MATLAB path. The plus character indicates a package folder. A package folder cannot be added to the part directly and needs to have its parent folder on the path instead. MATLAB detects package folders through the plus character. Now that we have our, our folder structure set up, let's go into the plus labeler folder and let's save this class in there. Now in the app, let's go back to the algorithms tab and let's click the refresh list button. And now we should see the green buoy ACF detector algorithm show up in the list of automation algorithms available. So let's go ahead and label some green buoys. Let's select the big green buoy label that we created earlier. Let's choose our big green buoy ACF detector automation algorithm and click automate. When we click the run button, we'll see that the algorithm is automatically annotating the big green buoys. One thing to note is the point tracker algorithm is effective for one or more rectangular ROIs only over a short period of time, after which the bounding boxes start veering off as we saw in the earlier video due to the inherent nature of the algorithm. While the temporal interpolator can only be used to annotate a single rectangular ROI, 
Using custom automation algorithms helps us in this case to not only annotate multiple ROIs, but also over longer time periods. In this way, we can use the custom automation algorithms to label images and videos in the video labeler and ground truth labeler apps.